Hello. Got these Perry's 28 mil Austrians finished. I'll bring them forward so you can have a better look. Um, I haven't put the flags on yet because I still can't. I, do you know I've got some somewhere, but for the life of me, I can't find them. And my hobby budget is a bit tight at the minute, so I can't afford to buy any extra flags. But at some point, if I can't find them other ones, I will do. I'll have to get them from Flags of War. Uh, there's two different types of flags, basically, for the Austrians. You get a white one and a yellow one. Uh, and the, the white one is called the Liebfahnen. Liebfahnen. Um, and that normally went on the first company. Uh, and then you have the yellow one. The Ordinar Fanon, or Fanon. Uh, and that would go on all the other com you know, companies, basically. Um, and the Grenadiers wouldn't even get one because they were just made up of all different units. But I'm going to put a flag on my Grenadiers because... I think it just finishes off the unit, and makes it look better. Um, so I've done the uniforms on these. In uh, I've done the uniforms in warm white, and then I've done the cross belts and stuff in a cold white, just to give a bit of contrast. So they look like the different materials. Uh, you get a supper in the Perry's plastic box set, which is nice. Uh, the face is a bit dodgy, so the next time I do one, I probably won't use them heads. I'll probably put a different head on. Uh, and you also get a NCO, uh, but I've did the NCO a Victrix head because I'm a spare Victrix head. So just one more to bring up. Loads of tufts. So that's them. Uh, I'm, I'm much happier with these actually. I think these have come out really nice. I'm quite proud of these. Uh, they came out a lot better than the Land Fair. Uh, but that's because grey is one of them colours I'm a bit colour blind with. Uh, grey, brown, and red for some reason. Uh, I can't see certain shades. They, they have to be quite a contrast between the two shades, otherwise, it's just blending to one the same to me. <laughs> so, yeah. So I thought I'd bring these Victrix up so we can have a bit of a comparison. Uh, so let's bring a couple forward. So as you can see, the Perrys are very slightly smaller, uh, which means they don't play well on the same bases, I've noticed. Um, but I like them both, I really do. I like them both the same, I can't pick can't pick a winner if you know what I mean I think I'm just going to continue using both um, because I just I like the Perry's and I like the Victrix so I haven't got a preference the only thing I would say I've got a preference with is a, I prefer the Victrix backpacks because all these details are raised so it makes them easier to paint whereas these are all sunken so they're quite tricky I mean I do need to go back in and tidy these up with a bit of London grey tidy all the edges up um, but apart from that I haven't got a preference I really like them both um, I suppose it, if, if you wanted to be picky it all come down to cost so with the Perry's you can only get a battalion and a half if you're doing 24 man battalions and with the Victories you can get two You can get two battalions out of one of their boxes. And, uh, and the Victrix are like, get for about 21 quid, Perry's are about 20. Uh, and in the Victrix is where you get mounted officers, which I've used for my, you know, commanders. I like the Perry's commander. I like the Victrix commander. Uh, I like the, the fact that you get a bit of variety as well by using both. Yeah, I, I haven't got a preference. Uh, you'll have to make your own minds up which one do you think but uh, I'm just going to continue as I say I'm going to use for both I'm just going to buy another box of Victrix and another box of Perry's uh, as far as the land there goes I prefer the Victrix heads the hats are a bit bigger and just look a bit nicer but apart from that 
you know, I haven't really got a preference out of the two. So I'm gonna put some stills of these um, Perry ones on at the end uh, for anyone that wants a closer look. And I've been watching all your stuff. It's some really good stuff going on, so please keep it up. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.